Hey guys, um, been a little while since I did a video and I've been uh, working on a couple of things and one of the things I've been working on is the um, the battery packs for the playhouse. Um, I had to strip them down, I checked them out over the winter and they uh, didn't fare too well in the cold, I should have brought them in. So um, it kind of led me to think that I need something to firstly keep an eye on them, monitor them. Um, so considered a few options of little um, digital displays and things but it's at the bottom of the garden um, yeah it's not a million miles away but I'm not realistically going to walk down there so as you can see here um, I've been working on something that allow me to monitor them remotely um, so you can ignore this side of the small circuit it's um, that's for programming um, this small chip which we have in, um, if I can zoom in here, apologies for any wobble. Um, so, what we've got here, um, we've got a, an AT Tiny 85, um, and we've got an Opto Isolator. Um, so, what we have, I'll pull this around, if I come back out. We've got a um, lithium cell, uh, 3.7 volt nominal, and what that's doing is that's feeding the power of the AT Tiny, um, and then it's measuring that voltage in as well. Um, I've had to calibrate that, so um, it's using the internal 1.1 volt reference, um, which is plus minus 10%, I believe. So that's calibrated. Um, which is getting pretty accurate results. Um, then that's connected to the input of the um, opto isolator via a um, 330 ohm resistor, and then the output is then connected into an ASP8266, and this is the uh, WeMOS D1 Mini. Um, and that is then running a small sketch, uh, which if you can see there, um, just is extremely simple at the moment, but it's basically just showing that battery mount now, one cell, um, 3.8 volts. And that almost ties in exactly with what's being measured. Um, if I get a multimeter. Place him down there. Um, just turn on. And there you go. We're getting three point eight zero nine. And if I do a refresh on this, could be still booting up. So that's three, three eleven on there. And if I can get to here pretty quick, three eight oh nine. Which, to be honest, that's uh, pretty much accurate enough for what I want. Um, so yeah. So the next step is to hook the. WeMOS uh, D1 Mini onto one of these boards um, and this is just like a dual base board that allows you to connect them. I had a bit of a plan to um, hook up one of these boards which is a um, this might seem confused but a lithium cell but what I'll be doing is using the output from the main battery pack itself to then power this via the USB there'll be a little battery there and the only reason that's there is a bit of a battery backup so to speak um, so battery next to a battery, I'm a bit strange um, but I like using these modular interfaces because it opens up a bit of flexibility because then you can do things like you can get a relay module 
Um, so that then opens up the possibility of maybe having a, um, a cut off. So the whole pack could be cut off if the voltage gets too low. Um, so it's just a case of coding everything up um, and expanding it. At the moment it's a pretty static um, web page that's just generated when you um, when you connect and then when you refresh it um, it gets the latest value. Um, that works fine so I could just expand the code and um, make it record mine's a 7s set um, so I could get it recording for those which that's great I can go and check the, the web page but that still re relies on me connecting and checking um, so if there's something goes calamitously wrong that's going to cause an issue so the idea is that um, I'll then either get it to email or generate an alert growler or something like this um, and then I'll get immediately notified um, so I'm just kind of thinking of the different ways to do that there's a few different options MQTT and, and other things at the moment um, so a few online based systems but I think the first step or the next step is going to be to um, take the AT Tiny um, and the Opto Isolator and the, those three resistors and put that in a small little um, PCB board um, Vero board something similar and then what I'll do is then need to make up seven of those um, so I'll have to go through the process of programming the AT Tiny 85 that's what um, I've been using the Arduino here as um, this was using for um, a serial output from the AT Tiny because one of the things is you initially read the, um, the voltage um, and then what you read out versus what you get on here you can run a calc on the um, the voltmeter and you can run a, um, a bit of a, um, a calculation sorry um, from what the multimeter reads and then you can um, get what it, um, it's offset basically um, and so then you can code that in um, and then that's how you calibrate it um, so I can go as deep or as just as superficial as you want so if people want to see in depth and um, circuit diagram and the code and such like um, I can happily do that do a little series and um, a few little videos and provide that um, what I will say is the initial basis for this I took off um, I think there was a website uh, sorry YouTube channel uh, Mechatronics um, so I've kinda use that as a basis, the idea, um, a few bits and pieces how he showed some things um, but I've changed it to work with ESP and then I'm going to take it on and do alert and um, do proactive things like that, I'm not going to have a screen like he has um, but I'm also then looking at potentially doing um, some balancing as well which would be great um, so it doesn't have to be anything super fancy but it would be nice to have something that could vaguely keep the cells in check or at least just do like a, um, a low voltage cut off and a high voltage cut off which would be nice um, which will st um, stop the system getting into problems ok guys so um, hopefully it will not be too long I've, I've been spending a couple of days on this but it was the um, the opto isolator and the AT Tiny was the thing that was giving us problems um, and a kind person on one of the power wall um, Facebook page um, pointed us in the right direction um, which was fantastic so um, yeah cheers guys